track, but they need to maintain this pace now all the way up to the line. So along they go. Spike in the Alpine, currently leading the title. Does he lead qualifying? Yes, he does. It should be pole for Spike. But as they head to the line then, who will it be? Will it be Nattrack? Will it be Spike? Who will be on pole? It's Spike. Spike takes provisional pole position. We're waiting for everyone else to finish their laps. Confirmation. Spike takes pole position. Then Nattrack, Hugh Sam and Luke, as we mentioned before. Uh, Dolphy and King Bart, the only other drivers then to get a 106. Here we go. It looks like a good start for Spike. A much better start for them than Hugh Sam, um, uh, than Nattrack rather, uh, who then has to defend to the inside from Hugh Sam. Hugh Sam having a look around. There's a little bit of carnage in the background it looks like there, but no, look around. There's a little bit of carnage in the background, it looks like there, but no, it seems like everybody's getting through relatively cleanly. And so, order maintains as it is. Spike from that track, from Hugh Sam, then Luke Dolphy, Booth, King Bart, and uh, then, oh no, sorry, the McLarens are swearing. Uh, but up at the front, you can see Nat track still within about two, three tenths of Spike as they head round uh, into the second sector, then through these tight, twisty technical corners. And up the hill they go towards Bika Tapata. Uh, so, after no qualifying has hit the wall somewhere around the lap there. They've still got the car going, so they'll be able to get into the pits and... Oh, they've retired on circuit. Well, that's a bit naughty, especially given that it is the uh, final round of the season. There's an important championship on the line, and we might get a safety car now as a result expect from a driver who decided to just jump in for the last two rounds. Uh, so, Spike then leads them across the line for the first lap. And, all oh, contact! Contact there between Dolphy and Booth. I don't know whose fault that was necessarily, yeah. but Retta Bosta is through the center S. So as they come across the line, if Spike has not been able to break the one second gap between himself and Nattrack, it means Nattrack will have that opportunity to fight back down into the Sino de Lago. And Spike sets the fastest lap of the race. If things end as they are right now, Spike is champion, but Nattrack is so so close to being in a position where they can overtake. It's an Alpine. Course, danger is right now that they get stuck in a DRS train. Uh, that is not going to help anybody at all because then essentially nobody gets the benefit except for the guy just behind, whoever doesn't have DRS. Speaking of who doesn't have DRS, uh, as it is though, the other Alpine of back row looks to be making a move on Holo as they head now down towards the Sino de Lago. And yes, back row has gotten ahead. Will they stay there as they head through the breaking zone? Yes, they through do. Through the corner and now through the cover del Sol and into the Retro Aposta. Down towards the Sino de Lago. He's got the DRS open and he's just powering down to zone four. Late breaking. He's ahead of the other fight. Here. Charlie Chibbles versus Dolphy. And uh, that means I'm going to have to update the live standings once again then because there's another change in position. Holo also gets past back row uh, down that same start finish straight as well. Into the center as they go. And Nattrack has crucially not been able to get so, by things as they are then for now. And so, uh, oh, an overtake there from Fraser. Opportunistic move from the Avatari driver and current reigning champion who will lose their crown at the end of this one, of course. They get ahead of Dolphy and now are threatening the back of Charlie Chibbles. This all while racing with the DV overtake Holo here as well. Uh, Holo having gotten a three-second time penalty somewhere around that lap as well. And uh, as they now head back up the hill, then Nattrack continues to chase. Has still not been able to affect a move on Spike. Must be getting pretty close to approaching some of those first pit stop windows as we're seeing Boofy then getting past Fraser. The inside, sorry to cut off you there, but Nattrack just gets himself up into P1 once again. And now that's going to mean that they're once again, will it be like Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen? They break side by side, and once again, it looks like Nattrack's just going to force Spike out there. Spike all the way over onto the exit curbs, almost off the circuit, in fact, but they manage to keep it going. They keep the cars pointing in the right direction. Good hard race. Right. And Elliot, Elliot is closing on the back of the Alpha Tauri, though. Closing, 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 and as we look backwards, then it's like um, it's well, it's like the Max Verstappen onboard camera controversy all over again. Fraser defends well from the Aston Martin as they head now through the will center. A repeat of the last lap. Will there be an overtake from Spike? A last-minute dive, perhaps? No. Instead, they stick in behind the Alfa Romeo and they continue. As One tenth are. between the pair as they head into the center S. Nattrack maintains the lead ever so slightly. Spike has had a much better launch through turn number two, though. They head through the cover of the soul, and now Spike takes that inside tight to line, and he's able to just get alongside into the pits. And it looks like they're the only driver to do so. No, I lie. Charlie Chibbles has gone into the pits as well, who was down in about fifth, sixth place. And now, uh, so he's on those brand new medium tyres. He's gaining, gaining, gaining. Will he have a go? He does into the Pico Tapato. And that's a move from Spike that could prove crucial in the championship. Speaking of crucial for the championship, Nattrack now pits. So it's it's on the pit lane. And whereabouts has Nattrack come out? Nattrack's come out way behind. Way behind, in fact. So much so that he's behind Spike's teammate back row. The undercut has done this. 
And that's Snapchat trying to go all the way around the outside on the run down the hill back towards Jun Sao. You've got to think to yourself, you don't need to do that. You don't need to do that at all. But uh, that being said, back rows cause such uh, a fast as that for Spike, then a 108.8 for the Alpine driver. And Nattrack now has about a three second gap or so to close back up onto their championship rifle. There they are going through the Curva del Sol before oh, you Nat see that is exactly what Nattrack did not want to happen. Hugh Sam in the Aston Martin, not a factor in this fight really, uh, has now been able to re overtake uh, the Alfa Romeo driver that they were drag racing down this very straight. We'll try and get that working by the end of the broadcast. Back row is losing more positions now to Charlie Chibbles at this point. Uh, the Alpine driver has stayed out, I believe, since the start of this Grand Prix on medium tyres. Uh, might be wrong there, but I'm going to quickly double check. Uh, yes, they are on very old. Close up onto the back of back row. Back row, a bit of a sitting duck, really, with those much older tyres. And they've lost position both to Dolphy and to Fraser. And now up into P6 and P7 go those two cars respectively Barely so got ERS remaining and Dolphy in the meanwhile has just over half of it remaining so uh, there you can see on your screen not very much available for Fraser to use three second yeah. time penalty so if they are able to get onto the back of Spike here and get an overtake done they then need to pull out three seconds worth of time to be able to then get ahead of the Alpine driver in terms of the finishing order uh, but as things stand uh, if Track things are going to want, he's not going to want second place, he's going to want first. Uh, but as things are, the Alfa Romeo is now in a rather good position in terms of attacking the Aston Martin. Uh, they've spent a little bit of time, it looks like, saving up the ERS. And Hugh Sam, by contrast, has barely so any. I don't ready. think, unless they want to deploy all of their ERS on this occasion, which they're not doing, uh, it's not going to be another fight back opportunity for Knack Track. It looks like they're maybe just biding their time, saving up the ERS. So then once they overtake Hugh Sam, they can then break the DRS and really chase after Spike as well. But so as we said before, the winner takes it all. Uh, if it's one of the three championship protagonists, uh, currently all the way down in 12th place is Silver Arrow, who I think it's fair to say unless well, something it's fair to say unless something spectacular happens between now and the end of the race, uh, is not going to be able to take their second title here today, and it will be a new champion in PC Division Oh, big one. accident uh, between Hugh the two Sam. cars, the Dolphy and... Whoa! It's Dolphy and somebody what else. Happened they've, there? they've entangled to each other. Oh, I've massive actually... amounts of electrical storage to be able to deploy in an attack. Now, when that attack will happen, I don't know. But if his Alfa Romeo team are watching, oh, I say that they there was be. a little bit of deployment. He was thinking about it. He was thinking about it there. Uh, but no, not on this occasion. To deploy down the rest of the poster. So if Alfa Romeo are listening, I would say now is the best time really for them to get a shift on here and tell that track get the ERS get the on. ERS on. Get an overtake happening. There's four tenths of a gap between the pair of them as they head onto the Cena de Lago. It's possible, but he's not using the ERS. He's only got the DRS flap open. And as they head into turn four, once again, Hugh Sam is ahead of the Alfa Romeo. With barely any ERS to deploy whatsoever, they're hovering around 10%, whereas Nattrack has a good 40% remaining or so after all that overtake and Nattrack. So Nattrack is maybe once again just biding their time. Uh, but the thing that they've got to be careful of now is that if they keep doing this lap after lap and just saving up ERS, then first of all, they're going to run out of laps. They go into the Cena de Lago. Is there any move this time? No, no, there is not. So Fraser stays in behind Elliot, who stays in behind Booth. No change there. King Bart, however, gets by Holo for P9. The Alpha Tauri driver uh, having a little bit of an anonymous race so far. Fighting. And that is not what the Alpha Romeo driver will have wanted. They want to be getting after Spike not allowing another driver to get in between them and their championship rival who as we all remind you they need to stay in We're front of and sliding all the way around behind the back of the mclaren and now as we head on to the next lap then so we're well, lap 30 about to finish that onto lap 31 but up at the front Hugh Sam now has the DR Matt track is going to need to hope that Hugh Sam either gets a move done on Spike therefore upsetting the Alpine and giving him the opportunity to slide through or he's going to be able to get back ahead of Hugh Sam now that Hugh Sam is in the DRS and will be that much more difficult to stream from Elliot Booth goes round the outside and surely not surely not yes and now Elliot defends the position Booth is able to defend his position right, the right hander up towards the top of the hill there and oh my oh my this battle is great uh, all the battles up and down this field are fantastic but it's mostly here and mostly the battle for the lead that we're interested in speaking Booth once again defends to the inside 
just runs Fraser out to the edge of the circuit, so much so that Fraser gets a three-second time penalty for multiple warnings. Back to you, of course, they'll need that six-second gap to be able to take the actual win. As they head now down towards turn four, it's closer, closer, closer. Will there be a move? No, not on this occasion. And uh, Nactrack also very close to the back of Hugh Sam there. And these things are just building up and up and up, I think, to a powder keg. Now, they're going to start finish straight. They go. It's a four, four and a half tenths, the gap between each car of these top three. They head down towards the centre S. They're closing, closing, closing to one another all the time. But once again, it looks like no move on this occasion. Hugh Sam down to the first corner, not to then be overtaken by Hugh Sam, but it's not over yet. It's now only about two and a half tenths or so. Hugh Sam is closing, closing, closing. The Alpine doesn't move to the inside to defend, and Hugh Sam doesn't go for it on this occasion. Neither does Nat Track. find them back side by side through the centre S. They go, and that means that Spike has now gone down to P2. That means championship now in the favour of Nat Track. Nat Track is now, Nat is now leading them down the right to Poster, and now into turn four they go. Spike will re overtake them. He gives them no space on the outside. Oh, no, but Spike is all these rounds. Well, Spike is round, he was given no... He's just able to get by Fraser. Fraser, though, has the overspeed. And then just using the McLaren to uh, just be able to get the slipstream there. Into turn four, they go. And it's a carbon copy. Carbon copy of the incident between that track and Spike there. With Booth going round. They've won two races so far this season. The only driver to do so. They're about to win a third. And not only that, but they're about to win the season four driver's title in the FRS in PC Division 1. Yeah. Uh, so unfortunate for them. Not the way you want to see a championship fight finish but there we are then knack track is your pc division one champion the game at least yes indeed so uh there we are then so uh, we will get the results up for you in just a moment's time but here we are then winning the final race winning the last two races in fact knack track takes the title Spike. So, then comes home p4 narrowly missing out and then charlie chibbles elliot fraser booth king bart massima romeo holo silver arrow having a bit of an anonymous uh, anonymous race after going into this